wrong, yeah. you're wrong. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we gotta give all honor, praise, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Kabbalah. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Rule Well. His citations to the elect, scattered abroad. All right, we're here on another day. It's the Plain Tables Camp in Wilmington. All right, we're gonna get right to it. So, you got the, the preset? Yep. <clears throat> this Revelation 17 of 1, it says, And there came out of the seven angels which had the seven vows. And talk with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Yep. And that great whore, what is that talking about? That's talking about America, all right? Because this place uh, has got a judgment coming, all right? We're soon this place is going to get destroyed with thermonuclear fire, all right? Keep going. Verse 2 With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, yep. and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk. With the, with the wine of her fornication. Yeah, the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, all right? All these different philosophies, all right? Got people, uh, you know, with uh, false religions, serving false gods, all right? Idol worship, all right? Things of that nature, all right? This whole, um, this whole country is built off, you know, going against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, all right? That's why you see this place you know, it's uh, so jacked up, so messed up, man. All right. But, uh, you know, here we are as the prophets. All right. Um, as prophesied, we coming back to uh, bring our people back, compel our people back and bring them um, through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to the word, man. All right. Can you give me um, Isaiah 33 and 6? Through this word, man. All right. And through all the madness and hell. All right, and uh, I doubt you going on. All right, what do we, what do we gotta do? All right, go ahead. God, in this Isaiah 33 and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. All right, you know, a lot of brothers, you know, coming into the truth, you know, we be going through it. All right, you know, we be going through a lot of stress and things of that nature. All right, there's a lot of situations um, in our day-to-day -day life. We gotta move wisely. All right, because if we don't, all right, we li we likely to get caught up in uh, the madness and judgment these other people are getting caught up in. Go ahead, read that. In. Read it from the top. God, this Isaiah thirty-three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The, yeah, the fear of the Lord is his Lord. treasure. It says the fear of the Lord Yahweh, yeah. Lord in all caps. Yeah, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure, man. All right, and what do we do? All right, we fear the Lord. We fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the scriptures say that, you know, the fear of the Lord is, is the first step. All right, so, and, and that's what happened. You know, when we first heard this word, you know, I'm sure most brothers thought this place would, you know, be destroyed next week or tomorrow, you know, or, some, or something like that, man. All right, and that's that fear that the Lord instilled in us, all right, to get out, come into highways and hedges. All right, once you get built up in this thing, you know, you, you, build, you building up after like a, a few months, all right, you're going to start wanting to teach, get in the highways and hedges. That's the Lord putting that spirit on you. That's that fear. All right. You know, you, you kind of feel uh, 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 guilty that, you know, you're not out there on the highways and hedges, man. All right. So, you know, if you got a brother or anything close by, you know, you may contact that brother, you know. But if not, you know, the Lord, the Lord may have it where you got to preach alone. All right. All right. You got a uh, precept. Uh, no, let me go back. Galatians 4. Yeah. 4 and 1 and 2. <clears throat> you, got, you have to be guided. Guided when you uh, come to the faith. Guided. And that's how you get uh, the confidence and the proper knowledge to uh, speak. Galatians 4 and 1 and 2. Yep. Probably, it's probably more verses, but I think it's not good. God, this Galatians 4 and 1 now say that they hear or the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, yeah. but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Now look up uh, tutors and governors. That's, that's a good, good definition there. Yeah. yeah. Tutors. Uh, wait, can you, can you see? Read that one more time. Uh, verse 2. Yeah, verse 2. It says, Galatians 4 and 2. But is under tutors and governors 
Until the time appointed of the Father. Yeah, until the time appointed of the Father. All right, so the Lord, he got to put the spirit on you to get out there, man. All right, you got to, you know, you got to pray fast. All right, and you know, for the Lord to give you that certain appointed time, man. All right, because when you first come into the truth, all right, of, uh, you know, first week, two, first month, you may not be ready to get out in the highways of hedges. You may not have that, that confidence yet. All right, but then, you know, over time, you know, you're going to get built up. You know, maybe you'll start out with lessons and sit downs. Then eventually, you know, you're going to uh, get to the highways and hedges. All right. Go ahead, get that definition. Yep, con. So for tutors, the word for tutors is, is the Greek word epitropos, epitropos, which means one to whose care or honor anything has been instructed, a curator, a guardian. Yeah. It says a steward or manager of a household of lands, overseer, one who has the care and tutelage of children, either where the father is dead, a guardian of minors, or where the father is still alive. Yeah, and Yahweh Bashim Al Rashai, he appointed the elders and apostles of Great Millstone to be to be our tutors, man. All right, because we came, yeah, because we came under uh, under elder elder men in this thing. All right, that gave us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The Lord, you know, gave us that spiritual discernment in order to uh, you know uh, choose uh, choose a doctrine, all right, which we believe GMS has uh, the 100 percent truth. All right, you're not really gonna hear other camps. You know, say that. All right. Any more on that? Yeah, that was it on the definition. God, yeah, you can you can read that again. You start from the first first verse. God, Galatians four one. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differ nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Yeah, until the time appointed of the father, man. All right, and, and that's and that's what we do. You know, we we follow the teachings of our elders and apostles. All right, you know, especially you know uh, with the scriptures, but also with you know maybe your day to day life. All right, you know we got elders and apostles who've been in this truth for thirty plus years, man. All right, so they they've been through it all. They have seen it all. You know, a person who come up, you know, you could tell, you know, if if they're sincere or not. Or you could tell if they just like a, a you know there just to nod their head and act like they agree with everything and move on you can tell if he's coming in the spirit of a, a scoffer all right just just even by you know him asking a question all right you know to the average eye it may seem like a sincere question all right but he may ask a certain question it's like okay well usually when they ask this type of question you know he's, he's trying to like do a debate or force a debate well it's a lot, a lot of jake feel guilty that they're yeah. they, they not contributing yeah and then they try but then the spirit don't allow them because they're not of the elect. Yeah. Jake, they walk past and they see well, that we got the 12 tribe sign we're recording, we got the garments on, so they know that we're we are reading the scriptures, but they don't know how to contribute. And that's because the Lord didn't put it in their mind because most of Israel can't contribute. Two thirds, they're going to be doing die here in a nuclear holocaust. All right? Yeah, man. And you got a lot of Jakes, you know, want to hide their talent under a napkin, man. All right, you got Jakes who say, oh man, uh, you know, the Lord ain't making me a prophet or the Lord ain't making me this, or, but what are you doing to contribute, man? All right, you know, we, you know, as a, as a man, all right, in this truth, all right, why would you not want to go out and, and, and be a prophet and teach, at least make lessons, man, on YouTube, all right? A lot of these people who, who have something to say or shalom in the comments, all right, they have, they have no works to back that up, all right, but here you are, you know, you, you click on his uh, his page, you, you see his subscriptions. He's following all sorts of different camps and things like that, man. All right, but the Lord ain't mm -hmm. dealing with that. That mix wishy washy Luke type warm. of spirit. Lukewarm, yeah. Yeah, you gotta uh, gotta go out to your local uh, local camp, your local area. Yeah, we probably pretty much in every major city and or uh, city near city near you. And if you ain't, if you in the middle, like you in the middle of Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, you got Pittsburgh. And you got Philadelphia and the Harrisburg. If you like right in the middle, up in the damn game reserves and shit, then you might start your own cat. Well, you gotta have a two or three, four hour drive yeah. to a west or east. So you gotta make that decision. You gotta, you gotta come to that con to the conclusion. Like you have to contribute. Right? Yeah, because different brothers, um, you know, they might not, they might not live just because you know a brother. Let's say they have a, you know, a, a camp in a, a Pittsburgh. 
all right maybe maybe it might be a brother who lives in west virginia all right maybe it might be a brother who lives um you know down down the way all right that and, but that's how it is you got to go up and you know if it comes to a point a point in time where you know the hell of a camp you know he may he might ask you like you know if the area you win you know it's enough brothers in there you know maybe you can start your own on camp, you know, but this goes through the proper order, all right? Right, yeah, because, you know, the uh, apostles put us in charge of the, uh, you know, best Pennsylvania or this region or whatever. Okay. So the Bach is uh, technically the head. And then you got regional heads, I believe, the brother in uh, D.C. So yep. if you do start a camp on the Great yeah, Millstone, you got to come up under uh, the, the hierarchy or, or the leadership yeah, that's in, that's in your local area. Yeah, Fourteen and forty, that first class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when you look up, look up that word orderly too. Yeah, because it's it's, all, it's your responsibility as an Israelite to go out and preach. If you're a prophet, you know mm -hmm. everybody's not a prophet. Yeah. So you got you got to come to terms with what, whether who you are in this faith. Yeah. Because right. mm -hmm. even, even if you know maybe you're not a prophet, you know maybe you're not like a, a the spirit ain't on you to teach. You know you could at least come out. You know and and. and uh, you know, maybe be on the other side, Observe, or maybe yeah. bring out precepts, hold the sign. Right. All right. You know, maybe you might not be the the best speaker. All right, but you ain't but holding the signs for any part of the camp. But yeah, uh, yeah, you come out, come out, uh, preach. You know, yeah, and or well, come out and not not preach. Come out and you know, show your face, put the garment on, yep. uh, fellowship with the Akin while while we're at camp. You know, and then right. you might even get the, the spirit might come into you to. Uh, to prophesy, yeah. right? but you gotta prophesy. you gotta make that determination within your spirit. You know, when I first came in, I knew that I was a prophet. I knew, well, I didn't use the term prophet. I knew I had to contribute, and made me contributing was going out and joining uh joining the camp. You know, it, yeah. it wasn't no oh I'm not I don't believe I'm a prophet, or it was what am I supposed to do that I'm in the faith now? Yeah. There was no yeah, division, yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah, man, you know, and same for me. When I first came into the truth, you know, I've seen brothers going out there and stuff. You know, I was, I was, basically, I was, you know, just, just basically, you know, just looking at the brothers. I already knew, you know, at one point I'm going to have to go out there myself. So, you know, I was basically praying for the Lord to strengthen me, you know, to, to, to build on my confidence. Then look, because, you know, basically the Lord might be dealing with you to, to make videos and stuff, you know, at first. But it comes at that point where, you know, hey, the the Lord might put the spirit on brothers, you know, to, to go real hard about basically the Jakes who are still at home, you know, they're not basically uh, going out there in the hours and bowers. So, and then, you know, um, in the spirit, you feel like uh, convicted. So then eventually you start going out there on the hours and bowers. Yeah, man. And that's, that's how it is, man. Maybe the first time you go up to speak, you know, you might be a little bit nervous, but as time goes on, you know, you're gonna get used to it, accustomed to it. Well, that's why you have you under tutors and, and governors. Right there, because you you around men for a certain time, and then you get comfortable just reading. Because you don't you don't have to speak, but you have to read. You know that's that's your, your duty to read. read and once you read, you 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 learn how to speak while you're reading. Okay. Right? Okay. And then you'll get comfortable uh, speaking, and then you have support. So it's, it's really no excuse. You have uh, you know, a, go a government around you. You know, order uh, brothers, what your uh, elder brothers, elder. Uh, men that can guide you all right like when philip get the uh, account with philip what, what scripture you got to bring out first bring that out oh, first yeah. and then get uh, philip's account when he said it said let some man guide me the ethiopian eunuch which is an israelite okay. all right. this uh first corinthians chapter 14 of 40 let all things be done decently and in order yeah be decently and in order all right and of course you know that doesn't only just go with with the doctrine all right, but you know we we have to go in order with the heads and apostles. All right, you know we don't just you know do do our own thing. You know, especially if you uh, claim that you are part of a uh, great millstone or you actually a part of great millstone. All right, even even uh um you know certain certain people who you know they they give double honors to the elders and apostles. All right, they may not be officially a part of the G GMS camp. All right, but you know the elder or a head. You know gives you a, a, a certain order like yo you should have moved this way or you shouldn't be doing this are right, you supposed to take take that into account all right not just be like oh well uh 
or I'm doing my own thing, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. No, man, that's that's out of order. Right? Yeah, and, and you know, and uh, at first when the elder apostles, you know, might tell you that, you know, you might not get it, but hey, man, still, you know, you got to take the load. And then yeah. eventually, it's going to come to a point where you are going to understand it, you know, basically where the elder apostles uh, were basically coming from. Yeah, because right? at, yeah, at first, you might not want to hear it at first. You might be like, dang, man, like, why do you say come at me like that? But then if you think of it, you know, at a spiritual level, I right, and then you'll be like, yo, yo, he was right, man. All right? And only a spiritual man is able to take a uh, review. All right, you know, you got a carnal Jake. You know, they'll come up, oh, why are you judging me, man? Why are you, why are you judging me, man? You ain't no saint or whatever, you know? But we're not coming in that type of type of spirit, man. We, we coming as humble servants of Yahweh Bashi Shai. All right? So you got the, the account. <clears throat> yep. This is, uh, this is Acts 8 and 26. It says, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold. Gaza. Yeah, that's yeah. going on in Gaza now. Coincidence, yeah. yeah. That's one of the cities of the Philistines. That was originally. I mean, the Philistines came out of Egypt. What? God, it says verse 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem to, for, to worship. Verse 28, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet, or Isaiah. Yes. It says, verse 29, Then the spear said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to the chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read, the prophet Isaiah, or Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Verse uh, 31, and he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? Yeah, yeah, that's that's Look a good guy. Which, which yeah. that the uh, that eunuch, that Ethiopian eunuch, that was a Israelite foreigner, man. All right, it wasn't just no random uh, heathen. Yeah, right. he's, re he's reading Hebrew. Yeah, he's reading reading Hebrew. Hebrew scrolls. Yeah. yeah. And pretty much, you know, he, he needs that guidance in order to, you know, interpret and break down the, the scripture that we read. What? Mm -hmm. So, so Isaiah 53, Isaiah 58, 52, something like that. He's wounded for our transgressions, I believe. Go ahead, read it. Go ahead. So, uh, Greek word for guide is Hodiago or Hod, yeah, Hodi, Hodigeo. It says to be a guide to lead one's way. To be a guide or a teacher, it says to show the way literally or figuratively teach. Yeah, God. And so uh, no matter who, who it was, you know, even, even if it's a different camp or anything like that, you know, they've had, you know, elders. So they learn from someone in order to, to, to get some of the knowledge, all right? Because some of these camps, you know, they they add and take away and, you know, do, do their own thing, man. all right? Is there anything else on that? Yeah, go ahead and get in there uh, a root word. It's uh hold Yagos, which literally means the leader of the way, a guide, a teacher of the ignorant and inexperienced. Yeah. Yeah. And we was and we was all ignorant and uh inexperienced at a point in time, you know. Whenever, you know, even if you was uh, you know, a grown man coming into the faith. You know, you're still like a newborn babe once once you uh, transform and renew yourself because it's all because it's pretty much like you know you gotta relearn everything you've been taught in uh, this wicked society, man. All right, you know you, you grow up thinking one thing, all right, then all of a sudden now you realize everything that you was taught, or at least most of everything you was taught, was wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, so, thirty and twenty. Yeah. So you gotta take you gotta take in this knowledge, man. You gotta take it in like like a sponge, almost like you don't really know know anything, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. gotta come as newborn babes, desiring the sincere milk of the word. I think mean, Peter's right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and basically, um, what you know, if you were Jake trying to say that, 
because you know you got you got basic jakes who be coming past you know you be asking them uh, you know where they learn this from and you know they be straight up lying saying that oh you know hey uh, the lord just showed me on my own <laughs> yeah, they be lying man yeah, yeah. it's all that's all video <laughs> they're trying to cap like they like they got you know they they read and they revealed got revealed to them yeah like they just uh yeah. Light bulb popped over their head. Yeah, like they, they had just... a vision, and then the Lord just showed them the vision. Oh, my dad told me that, like, like when I was a kid. <laughs> shit, shit. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, I just remembered it, you know, until I grew up. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. God, so this Isaiah 30 and 20, it says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Yeah, and that, hey, we, we're being seen. All right, we 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 wouldn't have known who the elders and apostles was if they weren't um, being seen, man. All right, and now we at a time, a point in time where you know we gotta preach and put this word out on the highways and hedges, man. All right, you got guys, you know, popping in, popping out. All right, you know, being quiet for five years, then you know coming back like you know they've been putting all this work unaccounted for off the grid all right the lord ain't dealing with that type of spirit you gotta you gotta be seen man all right yeah and not only are we out here on the highways of hedges what are we also doing we we post posting it on youtube and the internet as well all right yep con you know and i was about to say it also says yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore so the real teachers aren't going to go hiding you know basically take a break a seven year hiatus and then come back you know basically uh, on that same corner. Nah, man, the Lord's gonna have his real teachers out there fervent, you know, and, and uh, constantly enduring to, to teach his word. Yeah, man, and, and, and you know, 99% of them dudes who take that hiatus, man, they, they're not gonna come back in the in the right right spirit, man. Yeah, All right, they, they gonna, got, fucking, you know, bug out demons on them and stuff. Yeah, man, the Lord, if you fall out this truth and you come back, man, the Lord gotta have extreme mercy on you, man, for you to be a, a part of the elect, man. Yeah, you know, you, you know, coming back, you know, with a load of, um, you know, basically unclean spirits on you, you know, trying to teach the word of the Lord again. Not, man, it's not, it's not going to work. changing the doctrine. Yeah. 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 You got a yeah. guy in the camp that did that. Did, did that. <laughs> I can't. Uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, Makwa. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was changing the doctrine. Like, no, he was, uh, uh, he started rebuking the elders. And, oh, man. I forgot a lot of shit he was saying because I don't really care about him that much. But I remember he was, he was a problem. I do remember that. He was he was a he was a problem, and he couldn't break down Genesis twenty five twenty five like we, like we when we brought it out like okay you want to go on your own break this scripture down right he offered him pizza he wouldn't take the pizza he said cheese break him out well I get it but <laughs> you couldn't break down Genesis twenty five twenty five you gotta that's like basic it wasn't a trick question but yeah. guys think we were trying to set him up. You know, we all talking in the background about him, like we gotta get rid of this guy and all this shit. Okay, whatever. We might be doing that to, to, because we're trying to gauge whether you are really fit to be in the camp, especially, especially if you're like a problem. You know, yeah, you man. can't break down Genesis twenty five twenty five. I mean, that's <laughs> some some guys. They just got too much pride, I guess. They got the yeah. testosterone is really high. They're kind of young, so. They think they they uh they put the cart before the horse, you know? Yeah, and that's you know that's one of the first you know precepts we learn when we when we come into the faith. So if you come in and you preaching, and you don't even know you know the, the the basics at least, you know that's that's gonna raise up some red flags, and then you're gonna act like you got right. some type of secret knowledge that the elders and apostles don't know. Yeah, right. Or, or at the minimum, you think you can go out on your own. You yeah. Know? Because you disgruntled for whatever reason. If you can't break down Genesis 25, 25, yeah. or break down Genesis 1 and 20. And that's that's just know, what it is, man. A lot of people stuff. they uh they just don't like order, man. They right. they, they don't wanna uh you know they don't know what they're a part of. They don't wanna get put under the yoke because they think that, that people are tyrants. That's what they think. Yeah. They say, oh, uh, I like that what they're saying is the truth, but you know, they might be a little too rough. I don't like how this kind of done. Let me just do my own. My schedule kind of weird, so I don't want to. And that's fine. Sometimes your schedule might be kind of odd. You don't want to act like you're not like, showing up and all that. I get that. But 
you also don't want to be put in a situation where you're responsible for yourself and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Like that's that's a, another pitfall that could happen also. You know, yeah. Your schedule could conflict with the main camp where you're at, but you could also be in a situation where you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, and, you know? at, yeah, and at the end of the day, you know, if you want to do your own thing, you know, that's that's fine. Wow. But, you know, if you if you subscribe into a certain doctrine and a brother's, you know, testing your knowledge to make sure you're fit to go out by yourself, he's just looking out for you, man. It's just like basically like being self-taught or yeah. getting to, going to college, you know? Being so taught is way harder. Yeah. Unless you're highly skilled, right. it's way like reading the PDF books and all that, the uh, audio books. You can do that. I've done. I've done that. That's. But it's way harder than having like a, a teacher. Yeah. Well, it costs money too. It, 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 there's a cost to it. You yeah. know, you may get it up front, but because you're self-taught, you get all the material. You get free books, the free PDF yeah. books and all that. But you on your own for interpretation. Yeah. You're on your own, or you're on your own to make your lessons up. Yeah. It's a lot harder. But if you have a tutor, a teacher, he, he put he organizes the less same thing like starting your own business is gonna work for somebody. It's a lot harder starting your own business, whether you be a 1099 employee, than be a 1099 uh, ta IRS tax status, than being a W-2. Because everything just given to you. You get you get the uh, car, you get, you get a truck, you get a route. But if you got your own business, you got to do all that yourself. You got to get your own route. You got to sit down, get your own contracts, and get your own truck. You got to buy your own trucks. You got to get the fuel card, fuel credit card, business uh, checking account. Uh, it's harder. It's a lot harder. So it's a hard, huge learning curve doing it by yourself. Then you're going to fuck up a lot. It's going to take you a couple of years way, yeah. just to get your foot in, in any business that you start. All right? Or most businesses. You yeah. know? So you got to weigh that in the balance. It's better to be under a certain sort of structure. You know? Yeah. Be with a, with a brotherhood, but yeah, hey, he teaches on. You know, if you're not coming in the right spirit, the Lord going, you're gonna, you're gonna die here in the nuclear holocaust. You gotta be in the right spirit. It's better to be around brothers than to be by yourself. That's the better option. Yeah. All right, it says where, whether two or three are gathered in my name, I want you to get that precept too. In fact, get that right now. Whether two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. We read tutors and governors. Until the time appointed, or until you until you're ready. Yeah. Right. And, and even you may see a, a certain camp and may only have one or two brothers. All right. Which, in, but you don't see that behind the scenes. You know, those dudes are you know getting counsel from from their elders, man, and heads. And right. still, anyway, it's rare. It's very rare. But that's how you do. That's how yeah. you start a camp. You, but, but anyway, in Great Millstone, you can't just be by yourself. Anyway, you have to fall under the your regional uh, heads, right. your local regional heads. But in general, if you want to go out, go out by yourself, you have the liberty to do that. Uh, you got to just preach the right, you know, doctrine. But you're not a part of Great Mills. Huh? Yeah. So two or three. Yep. It's better to be. So again, you get Ecclesiastes. Uh, two or better than one. I can start a little bit up too. Yeah, go ahead. It says Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault. Between thee and him alone. You like breaking the scriptures down the wrong way. You know, you had to do the same dude one one of me to rebuke him in private. You ain't in Great Millstone, dude. I gotta rebuke your ass in private. You know, call me, tell me something. Oh, yeah, next time, uh, why don't you give me a call and let me know that I broke it down wrong. I, I, I did it now, I remember. I did a video about heathen hairstyles. Basically, shaving the sides of your head, <laughs> like, like the, the Greeks used to do, the ancient Greeks. Yeah. And having my like, hair up top. We're having a little mohawk, you know? Mohawk, flat, flat top. Mohawk. Yeah. That's like a heathen hairstyle. And he got, he saw the video and knew I was talking, just had him know he's the only person that had the hairstyle. And I was targeting him or some shit. All right? And if I was, it don't make a fucking difference anyway. All right, you're not the only one that, that go around. The elders always talk about not having like weird ass hairstyles. All right, we're not like, we don't want to, we're not, we look different than the rest of the, the groups. As we, we look, we don't want to be framed in the same same way, like the pants sagging and shit, not wearing a belt. We don't want to look like, we don't look like that. Yeah. All right, we, have, we look different. We don't want to be associated, even though we, it still is, we don't want to be associated with those other, that type of look. All right, so he, the, he, the, he, the, he, go, he calls me and says, oh, next time call me. I'm like, what the fuck, I gotta call you. I don't owe you no courtesy. I got a courtesy call you want. Like, you're not in Great Millstone, dude. Yeah. I'll get a call from another brother. They'll do that, but they, 
but you're not in great muscle, I don't have to do that. And it wasn't targeted specifically at you. It was an edifying video, whether it was for you or not. Right? Hey, but but that's how you know that, that dude got cut because he felt like a general video right. you know, was, was only to himself. What if the shoe fits where, man? Yeah, I would, if I was just for yourself, I would have sent you the damn video. I yeah. make the damn video. I didn't even mention your damn name. It's, it's plenty of times where, you know, early, early on in the faith, I would click on a video and, you know, the brother says something. He sound like he's talking to me. Right. That, that's how I was supposed I'd to be. be. Like, I'd be like, yeah. dang, man, like, I got to change, you know, I got to change something or I got to do this different. You know, I don't say like, oh, man, you could have just in the comment board, you know, say something because I'm offended. Yeah. Man. You know what Butter. I'm saying? That's why I ain't in the camp no more. <laughs> Yeah, true. You know, and and, and uh, you know, basically the 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 spirit might hop on our brother. You know, to to, to kind of mention you know um, your mistake that you made, but he's not directly talking to you. But you know, he, he just mentions it. Hey, man, you know, you can't get offended because it's a lot of Jake that we're doing the same mistake that you were just doing. It's better to get that happen than get than to get slain. I mean, yeah, you know, and I and sometimes, man, you know, it's like damn, bro. You know, I you know I uh, you know basically used to be doing that. You know, yeah. but hey, at the end of the day, it's other Jakes that are still doing that. And you know, for the brother to, to say it again, it's uh, it's edifying, you know, for for the for the others. Yeah, like if you curse somebody out on the street too too much, and you get too deep with, with a, a woman or a dude on the street, yeah. you know, you might see a video about you know controlling your temper or some shit, something like that, or or, you know, or talking in cold, you know. This it happens, you know. I, we've, I've seen videos like that. Right? We, it's not our first first rodeo, right? so you have to be fervent in the spirit. And in the midst of other spirits that are fervent in the spirit, okay, to keep you level-headed. It's not about how much knowledge you got, how well you can do by yourself. All right, you, you, have, you have a brotherhood for a reason. Okay. Continuing on, it says Matthew 18 and 16. But if, if he will not hear thee, then take, then take with thee one or two more that. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Yeah. So you know, if, uh, you know, you're not coming into it a like a certain agreement. All right, you may, you might, you may get uh, certain different brothers. All right, elder brothers. But I want to wear two or three in the midst. Tell them the, the tell them oh, the God, situation. This, uh, verse twenty. And then you know, you you take it from there, man. All right. Yep. Yeah, you know, you know, to, to, to basically have a counsel because you know that brother, you might not be seeing it, so you might just have to have a counsel, you know, before uh, you really proceed to, you know, basically put a um, rebuke on that brother. Yeah. Sometimes he may not see it during that time, and then you know he may meditate on the situation, you know, and come out and say, you know, Salaki brother, I was wrong, you know, I shouldn't have came this way or I shouldn't have did this, you know. But that's a that's a sincere brother, you know, a sincere brother. Or a brother that's not sincere, he ain't gonna do that. He's gonna be too proudful to, or prideful to uh, admit to his mistakes. Alright? Go ahead. Gone, so, uh, you want me to skip to verse 20? Yeah, go right to it. Gone. It says Matthew 16 or 18 and 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there, I am, there am I in the midst of them. Remember, the Lord sent us out two by two at a time period. Right? The reason why He didn't send us out now, of course, you have prophets that went out by themselves, but you do have, you know, com company of prophets. Right? And we do live in a different time time period. And in any way, we were closer to the Lord back then. Yeah. We were we were filthy now compared to back then. We were like completely filthy. You know, back then we we still had the more power we had with the Lord. You know. So right now, this is this is the fashion in which we prophesy. Uh, and if you learn under somebody, you can't just learn under them and then just be separated, separated from them, yeah. and not acknowledge them. You know, just the fashion that we do it. We, we, we get together, two or more brothers, and we go out and preach. And we got to have a camera. We got to have security. It's not like back in the ancient world. Yeah. All right, this is different. We live in we're Babylon now, and we're scattered throughout the earth. We got to have at least two brothers. Right. That makes more sense. That's wise. That's wisdom. And being having wisdom is not being a coward. All right? Yeah. yeah. Some people want to branch off and do their own thing solo for some reason. You know. Right. That's fine because <laughs> they, they don't want to want to take. Uh, they want they want to be in front. They want to be in the head. Yeah. You know. You gotta you gotta pay your dues. You gotta you gotta uh, read the, the uh, different subjects first, and then you'll get to the uh, 
kind of like college or whatever. They got different subjects, and then they got the, the main uh, course. Yep. That all that that all those other like reading, math, all the other subjects help you in your main subject. So you gotta uh, be under tutors and governors until your time appointed, until your time for you to speak. Yep. You're not training so you can fucking leave. You're training so you can speak in the camp. All right, and then eventually, you know, you'll say, you know, like 15 brothers, then you start writing it right, off five by five or four by four or eight by eight or whatever, six by six, you know, depending on the uh, size of the camp. Right? But it's better to be with the brothers. It says, good, 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 two are better than one. Yeah, two is better than one. You know, you can get, uh, you know, better edification that way, you know? Break down a scripture. Two come again. Yeah, two come again. Uh, somebody come against you. You had two come stand. Yeah. Because <laughs> with them, you had two come stand against the uh, in the battle, right? or yeah. against or against an uh, uh, enemy. You by yourself, how can you stand by yourself? Yeah. That's, that's what's going to say. Yeah. You better. It's better. At, uh, it could be better edification that way. Right. All right. Of course, you know a brother. Man, you know, man. may do a do a lesson in the car, you know, but you might have two or three brothers there, you know, it's a whole different spirit behind Well, you that. got, well, you were in a safer environment. You have, yep, you're in a controlled yep. environment while you're in a, in a car or you're in a, in a studio. I do, you know, because I have, I have privacy. Yeah. I, I have my office set up, you know, my chair, my desk, my computer, my monitors. So I can pause my streaming, yeah. I can pause my uh, recording software, look stuff up, then push play again you know or I can just you know look not even pause just look stuff up I don't have that luxury we in the street we, got, we don't have that luxury it's, you, have, you have to be more like a, it's more like a live stream alright you have to move things along faster right. and by yourself that's a lot harder a lot more difficult yeah cause right. maybe you gotta you know you're thinking of a preset then you gotta pause and look it up you know you can that's just you tell the different brother, brother. Yeah. yeah you know can you look it up real sure. quick you know you spend on the point and it all just flows a lot a lot more smoothly yeah, you ain't gonna wanna be by yourself when that damn when the uh Jacob shovel come yeah you gonna be that's gonna be bad to be by yourself even though we might get separated the Lord going your house shot gonna bring us bring us together yeah I tell you that and uh you went to women it says uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 yep. <laughs> the, 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 yeah we gonna be together <laughs> Okay, we ain't gonna be separated. Huh? We might get we might get separated, but eventually we're gonna bring us together. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you may be thinking of a certain scripture. You may you may uh you know roughly paraphrase it. You know, the brother just already huh. there at this exact chapter and verse that you're looking for, man. Right. You already got along. he might already have an open in the spirit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> edify more. Yeah. All things are lawful, but all things edify not. You get that too. Yep. Get that too. Yeah, being by yourself, yeah, it's lawful, but is, is it edifying? Yeah. You can edify, but you can you can achieve uh, better teaching when you're with brothers. Gone. 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 So, real quick, I got Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. It says, two are better Two are better than one. No, go, go up to the, to the whole thing. Is that the beginning of the, the two? So I was talking about two. Oh, go, go through the whole thing. All right, go. It says Ecclesiastes four. Let's start at verse eight. Learn about Christ today. Or verse seven. <laughs> it says Ecclesiastes four and seven. Then I returned and I saw a vanity under the sun. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Or it says, and there is not a second. Yeah, he hath neither child nor brother, yet there is no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches. Neither saith he, for whom do I labor and bereave my soul of good? This is also vanity, yet it is a sore travail. It says verse nine, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Uh, verse 10 for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath not another to help him to help him up yeah you standing there and somebody smacked the shit out your camera <laughs> you won't be sitting there looking stupid get off my get off my camera you know well if you had another brother you had another brother behind the camera 
or you have another brother that can grab the camera before it fall or cover the sign. We had you know, crazy motherfuckers grabbing our shit, you know? You know, run down the street with our signs and shit. Like, not, not, not us, but I've seen the other camps, you know? Yep. But well, you there by yourself, you know, it's, it's fucking stupid. If, especially if you don't have to be, you know? Yeah, plus, you know, they're uh, least likely to come up and, and, and try something. And touch like you, that. yeah, if you, yeah, if you yeah. at least one other person. Yeah. You know? You know? Yeah, you know, if, uh, you know, basically, uh, what? Some, you know, niggas, uh, a group of jakes has come up. You know, they, they niggas will try you. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, basically, you know, check out your camera. You know, check out, you know, what you got. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's, it's good to have brothers men around you. Yeah, we saw, we seen murderers walk past camp, the camps. The brothers know, like, dude, that dude murdered somebody. So why would you be by yourself? Yeah, these people are fucking insane. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've <laughs> you seen seen actually seen guys, like, oh, that, that, that dude took that, like, shot the other guy. You know? <laughs> like, uh, you oh, I remember it. that dude, he got, he went to jail for like four years for doing something. Yeah, I've, I've seen Jake's walking around. He got a hoodie on and the um, the whatever that that thing is called, that ski mask. Don't cough. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's walking around with his hand in his pockets and he got like rubber gloves. Like he about to like you know. Yeah, that's what they that's what they do. They do that. They uh they do that. And so then the they, DNA. They, not they, on they, the they, look, they look around for the the dude. I guess. Yeah. Is that selling drugs near where they selling drugs and they got to get him off to push him off the block and. They walk around like that. They, yeah. That's what. This is why cops don't like you having tinted windows. Yeah. They, they, they do the same shit. I seen a video in West Philly. They walk, walk drive around with tinted windows, and they already prepared. So as soon as they see the guy, they run out, and hit him real quick, run back in the car, and, and burn off. You know, or they ride past and they air the corner out, and then yeah. So like, and then Jake, <laughs> and then Jake wonder why they, you know, uh, if Evie e e pulling them over. Well, you wearing all black with uh, tinted these windows, latex gloves on. Hands yeah. in your pockets, walking yeah. around looking, looking everywhere. You know, <laughs> you look like you up to no good, man. <laughs> yeah. And this, this is why we don't we separate. We separate. This is why we separate ourselves from the other camps. Yep. So they got that suspect behavior. All right. Yeah. Get, get Thessalonians also, but I ask you to get right. Uh, First Corinthians chapter ten and twenty-three. Yeah, read that. And they get uh, abstain from all appearance of evil. That's what Thessalonians. Good. And that's an God, appearance God. of evil. Yeah. Covering your face, covering it, uh, you know, yeah, wearing, cover wearing, yeah, wearing, wearing all, what, all black um, garments and you know, just, just that whole dark look. Yeah, you got because you got Jake, you know, they they purposely preach in all black, you know, yeah. well, ICBK, with, uh, they know for doing that. ICBK. Yeah, ICBK, and specifically, that, what's that thing they wear on their wrist with the spikes and you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah but, but, well, we, we, I always used to dress like that. But yeah. no, but not, but through the years we figured our elders figured out. Well, our elders and apostles were always known for wearing the rags, God. you know, wearing the, the sack, the sackcloth. Revelation 11. Uh, but it was you know, our, our tradition to you know, wear the studded, studded uh, wristbands. God, God. You know, and it's not, it's not, it's not unlawful to, you know, to wear. That. Yeah, it's not unlawful. But you know, but it's we, we were pretty much, you know, we're wearing rags, you know, yep. sackcloth. That's that's what you're supposed to be, supposed to be wearing. You might have a headband on or something like that, you know, or a girdle. You yeah, know, but you it's know, mainly we just wearing wearing the rags. You know, just 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 keep it simple. Keep it low key. Yeah. Keep it simple. You know, a lot of camps like to do too much. You know, and you know, uh, looking Put uniforms. Uh, you know, when, they, when did the prophets ever wear you fucking uniforms? Yeah, and I was looking Everybody at... Everybody wearing purple and shit. Yeah, because I was looking at an IU, IUIC C video. Um, you know, that's that's the whole thing. They want to look, you know, so presentable and this and that. Like, like they know. order people, people they, they understand psychology, that's why. Yeah. Probably read the psychology book. And, okay, yeah, if you do it, do it, arrange yourself in this way, you'll get more followers. Yeah. Like, if you niche down a certain content, you get more, you get more people. Okay, he's always gonna make this content, so let me keep watching. Yeah, they so, they rather uh, what's it? they rather uh, mar their beers and get uh, like a bald bald fade just because it looks presentable. That's what that's that's their uh, excuse, you know, go, going against uh, the the. They scriptures. don't have a hundred percent truth. That's what, they don't have a hundred percent truth. Right? You know, you ain't supposed to get no get no damn shape ups. You're not supposed to be lining your beard up. You're not supposed to make bald spot your head. If you're losing your if your hairline. Ain't coming in no more. You just cut your hair low. Yeah. You don't make it bald. You know. Okay. You gotta live with it and grow into it. Yeah.
uh, magnify other, accentuate other parts of your your body so you look presentable. So you have a positive self image of yourself. You don't uh, bald, make bald upon your head because you, you know you're losing your hair. Exactly, you just gotta get over it. Yeah, yeah. bring up the precepts. Now. God, First Corinthians chapter ten and twenty three. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. Yeah, preaching by yourself, spirit. That's what that scripture was for. Yeah. yeah. That you have to get with brothers, get with other brothers. Yeah. Even if it's inconvenient. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, um, basically, you know, you got a lot to take. There might be, you know, um, introverts and stuff. Hey, man, you know, you got, you got to break that. No, that ain't no, that ain't no damage. That's not an yeah, excuse. Yeah, that's no excuse. No, no, no one is an introvert when it comes to the faith. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's just you being uh, a pussy. Yeah, you know. Secretive. Uh, you, you, you don't want to You want to be lazy. Yeah. Okay? I'm a so-called introvert. Okay? Now, that's not an excuse. The excuse is you have fear that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you're, not, you, you're not really uh, fully uh, rooted and grounded. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're, 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 you're longing and wanting to be uh, be, to be to teach to fulfill your office is stronger yeah. than your uh, fear of not knowing what you're talking about or not having uh, understanding all the scriptures the right way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, and I was gonna add, you know, basically you got you got some Jakes who don't want to come out to the camp because you know they're they're basically afraid of being um, examined. You know, being yeah, tried, yeah, exactly. held, held How much accountable. You know? If you if you just come out to the camp, we're assuming that you don't know shit besides the Lord's name and a few things here and there. We're not expecting you to be no no fucking scholar. Yeah. All right. We expect you to, to know, you know certain basic things, and that's about it. You know. And look, you, you ain't supposed to be getting the damn shape up. All right. Just look how the brothers look they see in the videos, and you should be all right. You know, tweak you here and there. It's not really a big deal. All right. You're not in the camp anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to be seen, held accountable. You know. Uh, Brother, brother, do a rebuking video. You know, you, you know he's talking about you, but it don't hit as hard because you're not, you know, no one's rebuking you in, in person, saying that to you in person. All right, you want to hey. go around and do, do, do what you want to do. All right, here you are. You know, you do like a, a try by Shalom, You know, with tinted windows, no one can see who you are. Man. You got it again. God, First Corinthians chapter ten and twenty three. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. But all yeah. things edify not. You gotta break the thing. Yeah, that don't only go for you know jakes like that, but you know you also got the the overzealous jakes, the the law, the law, the law type jakes, which we're gonna keep it of course to the best of our ability. You know, we're not saying that keeping the law is not not important, but that's not the thing that's gonna save you, man. All right, you you walking around with with sharp fringes, all right, thinking that you righteous, man. Yeah, you know, over your, you know, literally pulling up to the job with fringes, man. Like, come on. Yeah, man. I've seen that time and time again. You know, you got a Jake, you know, where you got uh, with sharp fringes, but then you got uh, dreadlocks all the way down his back. You know, I seen that in person, man. You know, I seen that guy a couple of times. You know, other dudes, all right, with at the job with the sharp fringes, man. Fringes. Moving, moving unwisely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and then, um, well, you know, also you got some Jakes, well, I believe it, it, it was this one Jake, you know, I heard, who, who was basically calling off, you know, basically, uh, well, um, every Sabbath, and then, you know, eventually he got fired. <laughs> he was what, calling out? Yeah, he was calling, calling out, out, you know, literally Sabbath. every yeah. Sabbath, man, yeah. and then eventually he got fired. Like, come on, man, you know, that, that's just being overrighteous. Yeah, like, you have that, a job where you have that type of flexibility, where you can call off on every ain't no Sabbath. Job, ain't no job going to fight flexibility. Yeah, unless, yeah. Unless you think of the Sabbath as every Friday night, Saturday night. Yeah, God, then, God. Because you got Saturdays off. But the real Sabbath is according to the new moon. That's how yeah. you tell time. Yep. Right? That's according to what uh, for Genesis, the first chapter, tells you the sun and the moon, the times and the seasons for days and for years. Yep. Uh -huh. That's how you tell time. By the, uh, by the moon. Yeah. Not by no uh, Gregorian calendar. Yeah, right? modern uh, modern calendar that's not based off the uh, the moon, the new moon. Yeah, you know, based off of Roman and Greek god, you know, days, name, whatever. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what all, because that's what all that July, stuff goes August, back to anyway. Janus. You know? Kind. So, moving to. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 21. It says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearances of evil. Yeah, abstain from all appearances of evil. Like you got Jake on the Howards of Hedges, you know, preaching and they look like straight up niggas, man. All right, straight, straight up niggas. You know, baseball cap all the way to the back. Got straps. You know, the strap, no, strap on the head. Yeah. You know, talking uh, uh, all type of carnal type of ways, microphone. All right. You know, just just uh, putting the wrong type of uh, attention on yourself, man. Yeah. Right, you're supposed to keep it simple. You know, look plain. Look like plain, plain men. You know, they think we we looking like bums because we, you know, we uh, keeping things simple. All right. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, you got some Jake, you know, trying to read in that, you know, uh, that power, you know, that just that high Englishman noble voice, you know, all the time, like. <laughs> yeah, like, Someone don't be like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it was, it, it was, uh, I was seeing this one, I was seeing this read, read out of the, or reading the precepts, you know, this, this dude sound like. Uh, like Kratos or some shit. Yeah, like, like something like that. I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you know, it's it's all the the spirit that's behind it. Right? And one dude, I think I forget, I think it was Iuice. He said that the Caucasus, the uh, Mount Seir was in the Caucasus Mountains. <laughs> that dude's fucking insane. <laughs> Mount Seir is south of Judah. Caucasus Mountains is between uh, the Black and Caspian Sea, up by Armenia, yep. Russia, Georgia, all that area. Not I'm like wow, this. So I don't know if that was a doctrine or he made a mistake, but the, the Mount Seir is in the Levant, yeah, all right? Well, well, Between what, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, that area, Israel, not up in the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah, like them, them dudes notably break down the precepts one. Like they yeah, can't even break okay. down Jeremiah 49 and 22. Yeah, um, I heard about that. What Butcher, was that Joel 2 and 20. With the army. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he said the eagle was was Esau or, or, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, man. <laughs> but you know, it's it's like you know certain scriptures that you you should know, but you know you completely butchering the precepts. So. There was another preset you wanted. Acts, restore the kingdom to Israel. Well, I did cover that one. Uh, you might have read it. Well, now go go back to Thessalonians. Yeah. Paul starts. Uh, to uh, pray without ceasing. Hold fast that which is true. I haven't read them in a while. He has a few things there. What okay. verse was that that you read? Uh, that was, I read 21 and 22. Something like 15. Uh, 15. So, this first Thessalonians chapter 5 and 15 see that none render evil for evil unto any man. Yeah, so again, like the, the, they got together. It was, uh, I saw a clip that was going around the uh, Hebrew Israelites uh, go to protest or protagonize the protest, something like that. If y'all seen that, yeah, we're not supposed to be gathering just to, uh, to piss. piss uh, people off. That's <laughs> yeah. not how we why we gather. We're gathering to teach. So obviously, they, they weren't great millstone Israelites. Those those are some other Israelites. I believe in England, in Europe, somewhere. Uh, and the same thing with the thing that happened in Chicago. Uh, we're not getting together to antagonize people. We're getting together to, to prophesy. All right, read that verse again. God, it Bring says evil for evil. But First Thessalonians chapter five and fifteen. See that none render evil for evil unto any man. Whatever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Yeah, to all men. So we're not supposed to be getting together, running on evil, evil. So when we get attacked, we come back and we beat the shit. We don't do that. Yeah. Not the other guys in the group. Going to a protest. It's like us, you know, we, you know, uh, you know, preaching, you know, just got the Jehovah Witness down there going and uh, trying to rebuke them and, you yeah. know, trying to yeah. make a viral they, video. Trying zombies. to come up. You got the super Israel. zombies. There's that no edification stupid. out of that, you know? The only people walking up to them is like the uh, old Edomites, you know, who don't don't even know shit, man. Yeah, all right. No, we 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 waiting for the uh, uh, elect. All right, we teaching the elect. All right, we not worried about no no uh, damn Jehovah Witness Edomite coming up and uh, 
trying to debate us, man. Yeah, we'll destroy their ass in the scriptures anyway. If we, hey, hey, but hey, it, it, it might be uh, good for edification's sake, him him getting cut by cut by the scriptures, man. Yeah, man, if they come down, they, they would never do that, though. But <laughs> they come down, we can talk about, uh, yeah, we about can the scriptures. Talk about yeah. <laughs> but, but they, they worship a, a, a saltine cracker Jesus. <laughs> God. So, and they, yeah, Jehovah's Jehovah wickedness, that's what I love these call them, Jehovah's Jehovah wickedness. Jehovah. Yeah. That don't even. That's not even Hebrew. You can't translate proper names. Right? Well, you can transliterate them sometimes, but they don't translate fully. And you take certain sounds that sounds the same in another language, and you put the different sounds together like that. But the, the actual name doesn't actually exist. Right? Like James. Uh, that's Jake. That's Jacob in English. I believe. Oh yeah, which that sounds completely different. Yeah, yeah that's not that's yeah. not even the uh, that's not that's a that's not a translation. Right? And then the J, which I did research in the Greek, it would be the uh, iota. It used to be pronounced with, with a y, all right? But it's still, even though it's, it's y. Uh, Yaqua, uh, iota, the Greek equivalent, is still not the uh, proper translation. Even though, when you go back to the roots, the, uh, the iota does uh, come from the the yeah, the yeah, in the Hebrew. But it's still it's still not a tra proper translation. Yeah. But you can see the the, the remnants of the, uh, the the Hebrew language, and it goes from from Hebrew to uh, like Aramaic. Greek, Latin. The Latin springs out to uh, different romantic languages, I believe. Uh, German, yeah, Proto -German English, Germanic. German, English, all that. Yeah, so they all root back to the Hebrew and to the Aramaic. The base, Hebrew and Aramaic. And then they get confused with the Hebrew and Aramaic thing. You know? We got to, we have the truth, all right? That's the whole point. Just listen to us. Listen to us. <laughs> we ain't going to speak. We ain't going to steal you wrong. All right, the Bible was written in Hebrew using uh, Aramaic characters. It's like we speak English with Latin characters, okay? Use Latin characters to, to, to read English. Yeah. It's very straightforward. Yep. But you'll get a heated argument about how the Bible was written in Aramaic. All right? so very similar languages. We, yes, we use the Aramaic characters, or the Assyrian characters. They're the same characters. <laughs> Aramaic. Assyrian, they're the same characters. Yeah. Now, with subtle differences, certain letters uh, might be omitted or might have an additional character, you know? It tells you that the, uh, in the Hebrew tongue, all right? And we're gonna get that too. Okay, continue reading that. Gone. First Thessalonians chapter five, going on to 16, it says, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks for this is the will of the Most High and Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. Punch not the spirit, despise not prophesying. Surprise, despise not prophesying. You're right, and a woman can't prophesy. Uh, well, she can prophesy, but she has to deliver that to a prophet. All right? yeah. A woman is not fit to be uh, to stand out in public and to preach. That's not fit for a woman to do that. That, that has not been done. You talk about Priscilla, in the book of Acts, she was the husband of Aquila. All right? And Aquila was the, the preacher. She was the helpmate. All right? Go yeah, on. you know, also the scriptures say not to, you know, basically a woman has to be silent within the church. Right. You know, she's not supposed to be, you know, raising her voice and speaking and, uh, and, and prophesying. Right. Yeah, she was, she was the helpmate. She was in the background, aiding and helping. Helping uh, Aquila, Aquila, all right, which means, I believe, means eagle. All right, so you can't, the woman's not supposed to be in any leadership role within the church. Yeah. Uh, right. And then it even tells you, let her not even be taken in a number before 60 years old. So she really can't even become officially a part of your congregation until she reaches 60. All right, and her, and her capacity is not to teach at that. Nowhere has to do with teaching. All right, now she can teach children. All right, and we don't have a uh, like a school, like a brick and mortar school anyway. 
but she can teach the children, but she can't te teach the men of adult age. Right? And she definitely ain't gonna be out in the street. Right? So the, the, we have the, the Holy Spirit. We believe we have the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit. Right? And it's gonna come. And you're gonna see that when the when the uh, when the uh, the time period comes, like the Mad Max, the old Mad Max, new one. When that type of time period, the time of Jacob's trouble comes, then you're gonna see who had the truth. You're gonna see if the damn wearing all black or wearing the purple garments, being wearing uniforms, yeah. worshiping Christ Jesus, yeah. saying John fell out the truth. They have a guy, uh, the Cesarea, come and try to clean it up. Being the overzealous, you're gonna see who, who has the truth. But then it's gonna be too late. Right? It's gonna be too late for you to pick. A lot of guys got, uh, with the anxiety, with too many options, it's a word for it. Analysis, paralysis by analysis, or something like that. They don't know who to follow. Like, dude, you, you, you supposed to have a whole Holy Spirit. You got a guy, a guy had, 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 had kind of cursed out a little bit a couple years ago. He like, he don't know who to join. Like, dude, you would have had a Holy Spirit. So obviously, you don't have the Holy Spirit of discernment. So the Lord probably gonna destroy you. Now you're gonna die to death, you're gonna die in a nuclear holocaust. Because you don't have the Holy Spirit to choose to pick who has the truth. That's up to you, it's not up to me to tell you what the fuck to do. How do I know? Motherfucker, you, you gotta you gotta have the Holy Spirit. Alright? If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot be saved. Alright? If you don't have it, you're gonna get put to death here. Alright? That's that's the order. I got nothing to do with me or any other group. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, the Lord gonna put you to death. Alright? You're supposed to have have, have the uh Mix, mix, uh, get a because they are spiritually discerned, yeah. Because they are spiritually discerned, meaning you don't have the Holy Spirit, everything is evil. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I heard this about y'all. You're a fucking child, <laughs> you heard this about that group. You're, you're a fucking child, okay. And a lot of you, you got a lot of these grown boys that are that don't know how to commit and be. Uh, committed to a thing long enough to actually get, get fruit. Yeah. And then you're going to die to death in uncir uncircumcised. And that's okay. You'll be reborn in the kingdom. All right? You got to be an adult when you come to the faith. All right? You're, you're a, a, a child in the spirit, but an adult in, in, the, in uh, your belief. All right? So when I was a child, I did things as a child because that also. That spiritually design scripture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start a little bit up. Yeah. Maybe two verses. On this First Corinthians chapter two and twelve, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High. And the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear either, <laughs> but the spirit of the Most High. So, so if you don't have the spirit of the Most High, then you can't prophesy. It's impossible. But the right way, anyway. The false prophet. I read it again. Gone. This First Corinthians chapter two and twelve. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. That we might know. So that means it wasn't freely given to you. You're trying to, if you got uh, analysis by paralysis by analysis, you don't know what the hell to do. Well, do you, do you haven't received the Holy Spirit? The only thing you can do is keep listening until the Holy Spirit come, come on you. I know the Holy Spirit came across me and I heard the elder and apostles preach America's going to be destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction. Yeah. Thus said the Lord. And they had the, the, the USSR missile signs. Uh -huh. And I believed. And that very night, I had a uh, revelation. Yeah. So, you had to have the Holy Spirit to get, to understand who has the truth. Go ahead. Guns, this is verse 13. Which things also, well, this First Corinthians chapter 2 and 13, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Right, you're trying to learn this by man's wisdom. Who, how do I know? Well, I heard this about y'all, and I heard this about them. How do I know? How do I know? That, well, well, you're going on man's wisdom teaching. Right? they telling you bad things about certain groups. You got to know, like, are, they, are these things true? Or are they justified what you hear? And then your moral basis is basically worldly, more than likely anyway. Yeah, you gotta, that, and that's the thing, man. You, you gotta do, do your own research, man. 
you gotta you gotta look in and be yeah, like okay. not up that's to do research for you right? yeah yeah you you you, you want us to uh, uh put a put a video up on a certain topic which there's thousands of videos on you you don't have bother to look it up on the search bar you know as soon as you look it up you got you got a video right there you got certain dudes that that's just like that yeah, you know, just completely out of order, just coming up on the, you know, brothers coming board saying, hey, hey, I, you know, make a video about this. Yeah, Wait, I, don't, which, I don't see you yeah. talking about this, brother. Yeah, oh, 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 brother, you know, um, explain this, you know, you got to oh, yeah, never talk about this. Yeah, you can do that this. maliciously, but you can do that in sincerely also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, if you do that, some, some people yeah. can do that maliciously. If, you, if you're in a sincere spirit, you know, it's a good chance of, you know, the brother may give you a, a an answer. But it's also or point you to a video that's already done, or if something yeah, hasn't been yep. done, you can't see it. I've, I've heard brothers ask that before. Break the, in any way, can you break it down or point me to a video where this is being explained? Yeah. You know? Sometimes, sometimes you might miss something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which, you know, it is, it is true. Because, you know, the, the um, you know basically the other apostles are hard. You know, sometimes a, a brother might make a comment, you know, if he can, you know, make a video about this. Or that you know and then and then the other go into it but hey it's, it's all through the spirit you know you, you got other jakes that you know doing it insincerely you know they just want to try to you know start up something you know and then once a brother makes a video you know they start you know coming up scoffing. yeah scoffing and shit right yeah. so going back it says first corinthians chapter 2 and 13 which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So you gotta know, so, so the reason why you can't join the camp is because there's something that you don't know. So obviously you gotta get that information so you can join the camp. Or when I mean join the camp, I mean going out to the camp learning under the brothers that are in your area. What? God says, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 2 and 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Yeah, because they are spiritually discerned. Yeah, I mean, you don't have the Holy Spirit. What, what, what chapter and verse you want? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And a 14. If you look up the CERN, I mean, they're, they're judged already. I mean, they can't come into the faith. They're judged. Where there's Krino, Anakrino. And that's, that's a negative cognition. They can have positive and negative, but that's a negative connotation. Uh, it says, uh, especially in a forensic sense of a judge to hold an investigation. Yeah. Discern, examine, judge, judged, meaning a spiritually judged, meaning the spirit already worked out that this brother's not gonna come into the faith. He's never going to get it, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Get uh, that too. Yeah, you know, and then, and then you know, basically, it's, it's some things, man, that, you know, just don't even got to get explained. Right. You know, it's, it's all through the spirit. But yeah. it's, it's a lot of things, you know, they can't pick up them, them certain, you know, nuances that you get, you know, from the scriptures. And, you know, they're, they're, they're just completely out of order. But because the spirit isn't given onto them, you know, they don't have the discernment, right? The, the, to um, you know, discern between them. Yeah. Okay. Spiritual judge. Fifteen. Oh yeah, fifteen. It says First Corinthians chapter two and fifteen. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things; yet he himself is judge of no man. But he himself is judge of no man. Yeah. So the, the, the brother whom the Lord has elected to be a prophet, all right, and as and as and is a chosen vessel that has been chosen to preach the gospel. You can't, you can't judge that man. All right? I Meaning he's elected to be delivered. So all his sins are, uh, are forgiven by Yahweh Shai. 
so you can't judge it. Right. You read uh, 16. Go on. First Corinthians chapter 2 and 16. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach. Right. So that, that's how you know that the brother doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Or those brothers don't have the Holy Spirit. Because if you are one of the Lords, you have the mind of the Lord. So the mind of the Lord, you'll be able to know who has the truth. You know? Some people, like, some brothers think they join the gang. Like, it's not a fucking gang, man. Just grow, grow the fuck up, man. It's a ministry. It's a brotherhood. You know, brothers, they think differently. Everybody think differently. It's ain't no damn gang. Right? I never, I never thought, you know, like a concerns men group. It's like it's not a, it's not an after school program. You learn the scriptures after school. Well, you might be in, might, that might happen, but <laughs> like you learn, get out of school and then learn. But it's not an after school program, all right? Or you, or we just hate the Esau, so we, we go out and we cuss Esau a lot. No, this is a, a learning, biblical learning and teaching program you're involved in, all right? Yeah, you know, this is a service of the Lord right here. You know, this is a work. You know, so there's not, not no fun and games, you know, just going out and stuff, having fun. Yeah. Which, of course, we, we, we rejoice and enjoy, you know, doing the work of the Lord and doing this service. You should tell them to go get a camera and put it on the huh? they, they look, they look wrong. They, they, they need a camera, but the Joe Witness. Oh. It's a record and put it on YouTube. YouTube. I guess their their chapter probably won't let them do that. That's not what they about. They, they think they false prophets. It's your witness. <laughs> you got a woman. Man, woman. Yeah, yeah, you know they just standing there on their phone and stuff, like saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, they like standing there, just you know, you might you might as well go go to the uh, the movies, tear off tickets or something, man. Uh -huh. Just standing there. <laughs> he That's said, "Go to the tear off tickets." <laughs> 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 doing shit, man. Well, they got this digital now, right? You just pay for the ticket. And just, you know. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been moving in a minute. I forget how, how it go now. But uh, yeah, you might as well fucking do that. Is, yeah, yeah. Be, uh, stand there like a damn uh, statue, and not no edifying. On, on that, man. you know. You gotta, you gotta preach. You gotta, you know. You gotta preach the word, man. I mean, I said, how are you going to be a prophet and all you do is, is, is stand on the street corner? Just looking around with a sign with, in, a, in a suit. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, look at it. You know, you know, we out here preaching, you know, uh, 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 lifting our voice like a trumpet, you know, with these presets. All right? You know, they standing out there on the phone with sunglasses. Suit and tie on the phone. Yeah, just smiling and hoping playing, people will come stop by. Playing candy crush and shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, just kicking their feet and stuff. Like, come on, man. Yeah. But uh, real quick, I have John 7 and 38. It says, He that believeth on me, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, by the, way, by the way. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. Ooh. Yeah, and the living waters is his word, man. You know, those who believe, believe on Yahweh Shah, the truth is going to come out of them, you know, through the Spirit, through the through the Holy Spirit, right? And, you know, of course, the Lord's going to build you up, you know, using the elder apostles, you know, and of course the, the elders, you know, and then and, and then uh, the Lord's going to have you studying, going to the scriptures, and you know, getting everything you have to to, to bring out the the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Um, you know, basically a hundred, a hundred percent as you need to. So that's what we do. You know, we actually out here to teach. All right, not stand around, not be here. You know, when the weather's right. All right, for uh, for no reason, man. All right. Not only do we got we got the sign, all right, but we preaching what's behind that sign, man. All right. You know, you're gonna come up. And, you know, through us teaching and speaking on, on the Bible, you're going to know what we're about. All right? Not just not just by standing here with a with a 12 tribe sign, you know, just 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 posing, man. 
All right, you know, we we, we speak in the scriptures. We speak of prophecy, man. All right. But, yeah, yeah go ahead. We'll see some more of that. You can read it again. God, this John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He that believeth on me. All right, and we, be and we believe in Yahweh Shah, man. All right, that's, that's, that's why we out here, man, because of our faith. All right, and, and, and nothing else. Yeah, and as a result, you see the living waters coming up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, you got, you, got, you got brothers all across the U.S. You got brothers all across the world, man. Like today, while I was driving to camp, you know, I, I, I tuned into the, you know, GMS uh, Italia uh, camp. You know, we were speaking uh, uh, speaking Italian. You know, so you got brothers, brothers everywhere speaking in you know different tongues, but we all us uh, preaching the same message, the same the same doctrine. Yeah. All right, we all and we all in the same spirit, in the same the same body. All right, even though we all in, uh, came from different walks of life. Right. Yeah. We got anything else? What did that cough something else? Slut. I just read uh, John 7 and 38. Get going to Revelation 13. 15. Uh, this Revelation chapter 13 and 15 it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, that's the uh, Roman system. All right, the image of the beast. It was at a time, certain, uh, you had to comply with the Roman the laws, orders, tribute, doctrine, all right? So that, that image was uh, reincarnated, so to speak, in the American system. Now you see these buildings everywhere, just after the Roman, the Greco-Roman fashion. Now you click that though. Oh, hold it. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. That's a Greco-Roman fashion right there. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, that's a spirit, because Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, just made a video basically touching on an article that says there's uh, similarities between America and the Roman um, Empire. Ba um, basically paraphrasing, you know. I didn't get to watch it, but hey, that's a spirit. You know, those what I, I get to go and, um, you know, to watch it. But, you know, it goes to show you how much this place is inspired off of the Roman Empire. So to read it again, Revelation chapter 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. Yeah, so if you don't worship the, the, the system, whatever that's whatever Esau will tell you to do. All right. Yeah. And that the main the center of it is the other uh, implant. All right, that implant. If you don't take that implant, that's going to be a, that's a death sentence. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he saw, he's not looking for, you know, he's, he's not going to try to make you do it or force you to do it. He's looking for people that's going to willingly comply because that, those are the people he can, he can best control. Yeah, and even if you don't willingly comply, you're still going to make it real difficult, you know, so that for those who aren't complying, you know, it's going to be difficult for them to survive within society. You know, to, you know to, to live right yeah well, well if you don't take it prophecy is they're gonna put you to death so it's going to gradually be voluntary to mandatory to where they're going to round you up and put you in a camp because you don't have the new uh money system and the slash identification system all right so eventually it's going to result in you in, a, in an internment camp or being just deemed uh, like a undesirable or enemy combatant or something along those lines, then they're gonna start putting you to death because you don't have, 
you didn't get on board with the new system that they put in place. What's it going to be? This is the, this is the implantable microchip. Right. Read 16. Gone. Revelation chapter 13 and 16. You look up the word karagma. Karagma. Gone. It says, And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Yep. A right, uh, a mark. All right. Karagma. All right. Which goes into a incision. All right. So it's got to be a sum that's going to be inserted inside of you. That's unique, okay? That's unique, not just like a cut, right? Because the, yeah. the word karagma means cut, all right? It's not just gonna be like a cut. Oh, you got an X on your arm, everybody got an X on their arm. Then you can go to the ATM machine and get and buy and sell. Okay. Or, or go to the, uh, not ATM machine, that's cash. But go to your local grocery store or department store, big box store and exchange an X on your arm for goods and services, no. That, that cutting in your flesh, we believe that that's going to be a device, a unique, with a unique number. With that number, you'll be able to access a database with your uh, financial information on there and identification information on there. So we don't believe it's, it's the word just means. We don't believe that the word karagma is referring to just a cut in your flesh. Okay, we, we believe it's a cut in your flesh and a device is gonna go in there. Alright? Karagma corrects. Alright? It's not solely just a cut. It's a cut for a reason. It's a cut. It's a cut so a device can be placed in there to exchange. That that uh, that data, that information for goods and services, not solely a cut. Because the word karagma, it doesn't mean microchip. Right? The word karagma doesn't mean uh, a device. It means a cutting, a cut. All right. It's a sign. All right. Which is a badge of servitude. So if you receive that cut, all right, which is which is the chip, all right, you're going to be. Ultimately, put the death to tell you that in uh, uh, the 14 and 9, I believe, Revelation 14 and 9. Yep. All right. It ain't something spiritual that's not sin. All right. It's, you know, it's going to be uh, come to a point where you, you can't buy or sell unless you unless you take it. All right. You know, how can you uh, buy and sell with, with sin, man? All right. Or with a cut, like a cut in your flesh. Yeah. You can't buy and sell just because somebody cuts you. Yeah. All right, it's a device that's going to be put in that cut. All right? Yep. And it tells you that it's a badge of server too. Go read what the definitions are. God, so this kragma, for the word, the Greek word for mark, in Revelation chapter 13 and 16, is kragma, which means a stamp and a printed mark. Others mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Right, so it says a stamp. Uh, so there's some type of mark. Uh, so you got so the cutting in your, in your flesh is going to place a mark there. All right, and that mark, okay, is the RFID microchip. All right, karagma. Because the, the word karagma, how many times does it show up in the scriptures? It shows up nine times. Nine times. It shows up in uh, what, what books are coming besides Revelation? Uh... Acts 17 and 29. Read Acts 17 29. That's Raven. It says, Acts 17 and 29, for as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone. Graven by art, that word for graven is paragma. Paragma, Thing, things carved. Things carved, cut. Yeah. What did you run your life for? It says, uh, graven okay. by art and man's device. All right. Yeah, so it's a it's an actual it's a thing produced of the cut, all right. Yeah. Which is the, uh, the the point is the implant of the microchip. All right, the thing a thing carved, okay, is the actual idol, but you cut it to make it an idol, all right. You know what I'm saying? You cut it to make to make the idol, all right. Yeah. A thing carved. So the thing that's going to be put in is going to be the chip. 
but to, but to get the thing, you have to cut. All right, to get the idol, you have to cut it into an idol. It's just not a, a block of wood is not an idol. You have to cut it to get to the idol, to make it an idol. All right, so you have to cut your flesh to make the uh, imp, the, the mark. All right, because cutting yourself in the flesh, that's that's not the mark of the beast. All right, yeah. you have to cut the flesh to make the idol. You have to cut the flesh to make the implantable microchip. You have to cut the flesh to make the mark. Yep. All right. It also says uh, as a badge of servitude as for a Christ. Badge of servitude. So a badge of servitude, and when you get that word for badge, yeah, that's an, that's an object. Mm -hmm. That's an object. It's not just a, a cut, like an X in your arm. Yeah, it's you might know, cut an X with a razor. Yeah, you yeah. know that's completely or a cross. That, that's silly, man. Right. You know, Esau not gonna just do it. Okay, you know you're good, nah, man. Now you can go buy and sell uh, through electronic means, or maybe they think the believers are gonna be no computers around. You just, everybody just be just see the X and just grab a box, box of stuff. Yeah. But that's stupid. Yeah, that's the kink. Because then you, you have to, that means gonna be, everything's going to be free. Yeah. Because you, how are you going to tally up how much the X is worth? It's, it's, it's it has to be digital. It has to be a computer. Yeah. That's numbers. That's yeah. mathematics, right? Especially with the amount of technology that's going on right now. Yeah. Especially with the amount of technology Esau has nowadays. You think it's just going to be a simple tally tattoo on your arm or on your body? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Know, um, what? How is the damn X right. just uh, on the surface Smash. of your skin? You know, gonna be identifiable. You know, yeah, are you gonna identify? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. That's a good point too. Unique. Yeah, you know, how are you supposed to connect to the the electronic you system? Can easily forge that. All right. Yeah, you saw gonna have to use a specialized, literally, micro implant and right. put in your skin to allow what your body to connect with. Database. To the system, yeah, yeah this the database. database. Right. You know, and the funny thing is, it's a lot of that's hard. It's a, that's a hard thing for a lot of Jakes, man. Right. Well, if you have the Holy Spirit, it's easy. Yeah. It's easy because that's why the apostles and elders said we got 100 percent truth. Like the hard things in the scriptures, when it comes to the Deuteronomy 22, Revelation 13, 15 on down, 666, Chi, Chi, Stigma. We know Esau loves that number. He puts it in his products. He hides it in movies. He puts it in the, in the different codes. Right. Even if Esau take the barcode away, because you're six in the middle, six on both ends. Even if we take that away, we all know Esau, that's his number. He likes that number. He has to put that number in places. Yeah, right. no, that's, that's part of his That's witchcraft. a pattern. That's part of his pattern. That's part of his witchcraft. Yeah. Yeah. So getting that word for a badge, it means a distinctive emblem worn as a mark of office, right. membership, achievement, license, employment, etc. Yeah. So we yeah. know it's a device. So to get to get that mark, you have to get cut to get that mark in you. Alright. Okay, so uh, moving on. Yeah. Or we can read it again. Revelation chapter thir 13 and 16. Yeah. And he caused the all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, and he saw some, and we believe this, there's going to be some crisis that has to happen for th that this thing to be pushed. Because you still have money orders, money grams, and all that shit. Those, those can't exist <laughs> with this system. Uh -huh. Now, I can still see them doing like a dual system. Like, you gotta have uh, the real ID and the uh, combination of the uh, implant, but you got, is the implant's gonna be the center to buy and sell. All right? Even if Esau has uh, different ways or additional ways to authenticate your identity and finances, that implant is gonna be the center. All right. Just like to get an ID, you gotta have different forms of ID to get your driver's license, birth certificate, social security card, passport, all that shit. You get your driver's license. Or if you lose your social security card, you gotta come with your birth certificate, this ID, or you can't get your uh, credentials. All right. So, yeah, I can I can see them having multiple ways to identify identify you to get certain services in the new system they're bringing up, but that implant is going to be the center all right that's the prophecy that's what we, what we believe yeah and the lord hit it 
So only a certain group of people can get, get understand it. You know, I've had visions. You know, I didn't directly see the implant, but I, I saw uh, or dream uh, people standing in long lines, you know, in regular neighborhoods, row houses, standing in long lines. You know, so what were they standing in long lines for? I believe that they were standing in the long lines waiting to be uh, implanted. And they were all happy, too, to get the, in to get the implant. So yeah. well, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, revealed more to me. I mean, I don't have to see the, uh, the implant directly. I already know what I already know what it's about. There's so only one reason you in a damn, or two reasons you in a damn long ass line. It's either get the implant or to get food. All right, and it might have been getting both. It might have been getting the implant, and then it might have been getting the, uh, the food right after the implant. You know, the MRE, the meal ready to eat. So, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it says Revelation chapter thirteen to eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beasts. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Yep, high psi stigma. All right, and look that up. And they say much vain speculation. Going to stigma, is, I think that's the, uh, the main point there. Esau don't know what it is because he don't want to say. Much vain speculation. Uh, go to stick stigma. So that's how we know it's something that's in the flesh. It's in the flesh. It's not going to be a, like a tattoo on the surface. It's going to be a tattoo in your skin, in your flesh. Then you got to cut to, to get it put it in there. Remember, Esau, he, he has no blood, is no, uh, you know, to shed blood is nothing for Esau. Look what he's doing to, to the Arabs in, uh, in Gaza. Fact, he'll, kill, he'll kill 10,000 of them with no problem. What? Yeah, I was about to say. In fact, Esau loves, you know, shedding blood. Yeah, yeah. He, he literally takes pleasure in doing So, you know, he's not going to mind shedding blood, you know, in order to achieve what he ultimately wants. Yeah. Make it so damn evil and dangerous that you'll be begging to, uh, to get implanted so you get some food. So you get some, 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 some toast and butter. Yeah, some uh, yeah, toast and okay. some melt, some some butter, and some peanut butter, yeah. um, you know, bars, yeah, protein yeah. bars. We already know, you know, you saw trying to implement, you know, bugs, you know, being a part of the American diet, right? Yeah. Bugs and insects. He where he's getting lazy, and he's trying to turn, make you more uh, Soylent Green. The movie you got to watch. You ever seen the movie Soylent Green? Nah, but uh, it's basically uh, the people they were killing, they were putting. Making people into like wafer cakes. And that's what people were eating. These green cakes. I believe they were green. Look up Soylent Green food. I believe like wait, they were like cakes or cookies or something. I forgot. I see the movie in a minute. Elders bought that movie out like 15 years ago. And, and started speaking about the Soylent Green movie. I believe Charles and Hessen. <laughs> Same guy that played in the Ten Commandments and Ben Hur. He's supposed to be the greatest, one of the greatest actors to ever live, Charleston Heston. I believe he, he starred in uh, Soylent Green, if I'm not mistaken. Soylent Green cakes or uh, food, the food in Soylent Green, some pictures. So they were basically, they were, they were, they were, they were uh, processing humans into food, so to speak. So uh, uh, blood is nothing for Esau. Esau will... Uh, would, would murder 10,000 people and it'd be okay. He'll, he'll, he'll condone that, the government. The American government, the different world's governments too. They, they, in the, they got their own sick little thing to sacrifice them at too. I think they ain't letting uh, the, 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 the Egyptian Arabs and not uh, letting the uh, Palestinian Arabs in. They, they, they may eventually. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. right here. Soylent Green, yeah, there we go. You can see it right there. Yep, that's that's how what people were being processed into food. And I believe that was the main that was the main food. 
it was like post-apocalyptic. If I'm not mistaken, I gotta watch the movie again. And that was the rations. So you could go get implanted and then go get your soylent, your soylent green. Soylent? What does soylent mean? Soylent? And soil or dirt or maybe something else. Soylent green. So green, yeah, green. That's the color of the, of the, of the cakes, the wafers. It means, uh... That says etymology blend of soy plus lentil. Also, soylent meaning an undesirable or an undesirable lackluster and artificial food stuff yeah. as a substitute for real meat. <laughs> there, there, there you go. Soylent yeah. green. So, so it does with all this type of stuff. Man. Soylent green. Uh, beyond meat and shit. Impossible burger. Live. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. You also got the term mystery meat. Yeah, mis mystery meat. Don't know what it is, but it tastes like meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be, uh, be wise. Well, the scripture said that we're gonna eat our defiled bread among the Gentiles. Grab that. Mm -hmm. what, what else do we have? Uh, stigma. Stigma. Yeah, stigma. And then defiled bread. You, you grab. Uh, is that Ezekiel? So shall the children of Israel eat the defiled bread amongst the Gentiles without well, scattering them? Reference paraphrase. Go ahead. Con, this, uh, so the definition for stigma, meaning a mark pricked in or branded upon the body, to ancient usage or to ancient Oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belonged to. And there were even some devotees or devotees who stand themselves in this way with the token of their gods. Well, burn it down. Yeah, so again, it says a, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. So this, this word, this definition proves to you how literally it's going to be a mark pricked in you, into you and literally branded upon your body. You're, you're now going to be um, identified as a branded Esau. You know, once, once you, if you take that uh, basic MOTV. The mark of the beast, which is the RFID implant. If you take that, then you're you're now um, Esau's property. So the Lord is using the mark of the beast as a, you know, kind of kind of like a sifter to see really who's bound, you know, who, who's really willing to serve the Lord, and who, who's really willing to serve Esau. You know, the Lord's trying His people, the Israelites. And we already know within Revelation chapter three and ten, the Lord's going to reserve the the elect. The ones who have been keeping this word, the ones who have been keeping the patience of this word, you know, during in this truth, serving Yahweh by Simi Yashai, the Lord's going to keep them from the iron temptation, which will come upon the whole world. So you understand that this iron temptation is going to be a great thing upon the masses. You know, this this thing isn't going to be easy. I was just watching this Instagram video of this, you know, Jake. It's literally recently, man. He, he was in, a, I think, an Amazon store. And, you know, they, they basically have the palm payment. And then he was saying, he's like, oh man, you know, that's, that's crazy. You know, I, I, was, uh, I was basically looking in the comments, you know, people were saying, oh yeah, you know, we already know this Revelation 13, 16, you know, they're going to bring yeah. that implant. Yep. And then and then within the video, you know, the Jake was like, oh yeah, and they, hey man, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing that, man. They're they crazy. They're crazy. Hey, I mean, it's, it's easy to say now, but once Esau starts coming down heavy and hard, we're going to see then. Because yeah. the Lord's only going to reserve that spirit. For his people and and, and, and uh, for those who might resist, you know, you might have some Edomites to rebel against the mark. You know, they have basically, you know, their, their own system going, you know, their farm and stuff. So they're able to be self-sufficient. But anyways, the Lord's still going to destroy them. <laughs> yeah. Because they're, they're heathen. Yeah. And Esau is going to take, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you like or whatever you might be addicted to and use it against you. Like, oh, you, you still want to do this? You still want to... Uh, you know take these drugs or you want to you know play this game or you still want this car or whatever whatever it yeah, is you want your job your house you know you got you got to do this you know that's what hey that's what that's what jake did with to take the that uh the v vax right yeah that's what jake did with the vax and a lot of them jakes you got a lot of them say oh nah man hell not nah, you know i will never take that shit yeah, and, and then, that was yeah. just a trial, like a test run, you know? Esau was trying to make it seem like it was mandatory, but right. it really wasn't, all right? It was really going to be mandatory. It's going to be that C hip, man, all right? That was just a test run, all right? 
and that's test run where they have uh, yeah, in a modern era. And they always did that. But, but this wasn't the first uh, endemic that we, that we ever had, you know. And it, and the solution was also the uh, to take injections. So we just happen to have cameras. We have more technology now. People understand more things now, so we're making it like a big deal. Now, I don't know if it was, uh, they didn't say you couldn't like, go to work. Like the Spanish flu and all that. The different uh, pandemics that happened and all that. I don't know what the policies were back then. Maybe I think more so everybody was more so on board. It really wasn't an issue. I, but I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know if it, when the Spanish flu when it hit the world, like, well, you can't come to work if you, if you uh, didn't get, get a uh, vampire shot. I don't know what the, how the laws were. But they were saying that during this time. So it's, yeah, it's going to increasingly get progressively get worse. The more uh, Esau starts to reveal himself right? about how, how much of a devil he really, he really is, to a point where they're, they're going to have uh, a system of concentration camps set up, right? yeah. similar to uh, Gaza, it's an open air prison or a concentration camp, right? where they got this the port on lock. And all sides of it surrounded by, uh, say, uh, enemy forces. Right. Yeah, very no. Second chapter sixteen. Second chapter sixteen says how Esau is going to come down like a madman, sparing none, basically destroying those that fear the Lord. Which Esau is going to, hey, you know, everything is through the spirit and power. You how about Shemuel Shad? We already know there's going to be martyrs, but a lot of uh, elect Israelites. Esau won't, won't even be able to touch. Or if he is able to touch them, the Lord's going to deliver them, uh, you know, out, out of Esau's hands. Also, it says in Revelation chapter 12 and 12, how he's basically saying, knows that he has a short time. Uh, how's the scripture go? Basically, he knows that he has but a short time. So that's why he's coming down with great wrath, basically paraphrased. Esau understands that his time is short. That's why he's moving so quickly. And we already know, you know, you can only move so fast before you start to look sloppy. So a lot of, you know, information is coming out. You know, you saw he, he's, he's obviously not covering up his tracks like he was before. Yeah. So a lot of information is getting out there. But hey, at the end of the day, that's the Lord, you know, basically putting the spear on, on Esau to do that. So it'll be no excuse. The information is out there. We already know the prophets are out here, you know, breaking the, the, the scriptures down. Revelation chapter 13. You know, and, and what well, you know, bringing out information that'll literally give you no excuse. Yeah. If you want that Revelation twelve and twelve? There you got it. Maybe. Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come up down unto you, have a great wrath. Yeah, and Esau is going to try to come upon the whole world. Man. Literally, no one's gonna be exempt in in uh, in basically Esau's mind. As the scripture says in Revelation chapter thirteen and uh, sixteen, it says he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. So Esau's gonna try to make everybody take the stake. Yeah, yeah. It says, "For the devil is coming down unto you, have a great wrath." Yeah, and who, who's the devil? The devil, of course. The physical counterpart of Satan are the Edomites, the so-called white men. Yep. Yep. It says because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, so Esau understands that his time is short. He already knows that he, he has a short time. Well, you know, you got chariots showing themselves more than ever. Right? Yeah, we Hey, you telling Esau to, to, to hurry it up. Because we're tired of this place, we're sick of this place, man. Yeah, and anyways, you know, the Lord is showing them the time for the elect's sake. So the Lord's, you know, making certain things happen. So Esau, you know, can can, can rush, get scared. You know, he's, he, he's rushing now to, to, to achieve his ultimate agenda, which is the NWO. Yeah, yeah. And we and this, we're not saying that, you know, we we went for Esau to roll this thing down because, you know, we, 
we approve of what Esau's doing. No, we just know that, you know, we that much closer to Yahweh Shah coming back and saving his elect. Yeah, and anyways, we understand that Esau has to fulfill these prophecies before Yahweh Shah comes back anyway. So, you know, we're telling Esau to, to, to basically hurry it up. We're telling the elites to hurry it up and to bring these stuff, to, to, to bring these things, because we know anyways, it has to come. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna close up. God. In the, in the uh, lesson. Lesson here. Hope you had a flat. So, how are we doing?